Welcome to the first ever Bad Girls Bitch Blog movie review. Because just a few days ago, I saw a movie that is worth starting this about. The new 2014 giant monster film, Godzilla. Now before you watch any more of this video, I'm gonna up and warn your ass that there are excessive spoilers. If you have not seen the movie yet, I'm going to ruin it for you. So you better stop watching right now and go watch some more cat videos or something. Now myself and many, many other Godzilla fans were terrified for this movie because of the 1998 epic failure by the same name. So let me tell you all right here, right now, that this movie, 2014, Godzilla, is a hell of a lot better tribute to the Japanese icon we all know and love. They did it right this time. They did not fuck it up. They got it. Which is very rare for Hollywood. Sadly, it took two tries, but whatever. Now, what sets this Godzilla movie apart from the epic failure of 98? is that this is not a brand new and different American Godzilla. This is actually the seventh reincarnation of the Japanese Godzilla that we all know and love. Yes, Godzilla has reincarnated seven times. The other six being the original 1955 black and white film, Gojira. The Godzilla of the Showa series, who I like to call Cookie Monster on steroids. And then the Heisei series actually saw three different Godzillas. First, with the Let's Talk of the Past time traveling incident in Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah. And then a complete meltdown and rebirth in Godzilla vs. Destroya. And then finally, there was, in my opinion, the best and most badass looking Godzilla to ever exist, the sixth incarnation of the Millennium series. So that brings us to the present day seventh incarnation. Now first off, the design of Godzilla is very, very big. This is the tallest he has ever been, and the fattest he has ever been. But it fucking works. But probably most unexpected, and the biggest shock to Godzilla fans across the world, was that in this movie, Godzilla is actually the protagonist. He's the good guy. How is that possible? Because he's not the only giant monster in the movie. There are two others. Let them fight. They are an entirely new kaiju designed and created by our own legendary productions. And they are called the MUDOs, which is an acronym for Massive Unidentified Terrestrial Organism. Now in the movie, there are actually two of them a male who is capable of flight and is only about a quarter the size of Godzilla. Go, go! who is not capable of flight, but is equal in size to Godzilla. And in order to set them apart, the movie just refers to them as male and female. Fair enough. Now what's really disappointing is that Godzilla actually clashes with male twice before the final showdown with both male and female, but we don't get to see it. 
it starts, and then either a door closes or the scene changes, and we don't get to fucking see the fight. That really irritated me. I would have really have liked to seen those fights. It would have been okay if Mail got away and the chase continued, but at least let us see to that point, you know? We're just left to assume that Godzilla won, but Mail got away, and oh, I gotta go find go after his ass again, because I'm a big, fat, slow, hulking lizard, and Mail's this fucking supersonic flight insect spider thing, motherfucker. Now, another thing that I don't care too much about the movie that American films seem to be guilty of all the fucking time, especially in giant monster movies, is that there is too much focus on the humans. We are not watching a movie called Godzilla to learn about the sad, tragic life of this fucking Marines Army or whatever the fuck that organization was. I didn't even pay attention to that because I didn't fucking care. You know, wham wham, mommy died when I was a kid. It wham wham, daddy died in front of me. Boo hoo, who the fuck cares? It's not about you, jackass. It's about the fucking monsters. Get off the screen. I mean, shit. Even when, after Godzilla took out male and the final showdown between Godzilla and female was going on, we were seeing it through the tragic, self sacrificial perspective of. The human protagonist, oh, oh, the feels, the feels. What the fuck ever, just show the fight, and show it right set up, not sideways. But, uh, I'll tell you what, that kill shot, though. I'm a fire in the laser. <laughs> so, in closing, I really can't speak for all Godzilla fans across America, but I will proudly speak for myself when I say that I am perfectly fine with counting this Godzilla as a legitimate incarnation of the Japanese Godzilla that we all know and love. Bad Girl's Bitch Blog gives Godzilla 2014 an earth-shaking, plasma-firing, 8 out of 10. This has been Bad Girls Movie Reviews. Kaiju Size Salute. Still a better love story than Twilight. Bad of the bone. Bad of the bone. B -b 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 bad. Next time on Bad Girls Movie Reviews. No, 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 whoa, whoa, chill. It's just a mask. See? Don't freak out. Right? <sighs>